Hi, everybody. So there is the continuing uh, saga of the fiberglass. So this is the first piece, like I mentioned last time, that this is the first piece we're actually having to lay some glass up to complete. Uh, that fairing for the vertical stabilizer doesn't isn't sized exactly that way. See how it's clecoed in and all that? It's not exactly shaped that way, right? You, the clecos actually have to pull it out. Uh, it, and so in order to make sure it's, you know, nice and air streamed and all that, we got to put this backing plate on there. Ooh, pardon me. So, uh, the first one was actually a decent, I actually did a decent job of laying up the fiberglass, so I, it's only like three or four pieces. Uh, the problem is I, I made it too short. I cut it too short, like, a, like an idiot. So I had to make a new one. And so just to, here I am playing with a little bit of my carbon fiber. So to just go over the basics of fiberglass. So the idea is that it's a compound layering. Basically it's kind of like a puff pastry. It's just layers and layers and layers of fiberglass soaked together with hardened epoxy resin. All right, that can be formed, it can be flat sheets like you see me doing here which is just a simple process of put down the fiberglass, making sure it's straight, right? Making sure the, you know, you, that you don't bend the weave. You want it to be nice and perpendicular. Um, soaking it with epoxy, making sure it's even and soaked all the way through, then putting another piece of fiberglass on top of that. More epoxy, fiberglass, epoxy. And that's, that's, the, that's the, just a very simple way. So in that, in that way, if you're just doing small patch pieces, no problem, you can do that. I'm putting mine on top of aluminum because it just kind of separates right off. Uh, if you don't have a piece of spare aluminum, uh, you're going to have to do it on some kind of work surface that's waxed because, I mean, it is epoxy and that shit likes to bond to everything. So you be, be, be very careful with it. Um, and of course, I've got that uh, cardboard there in case it goes around the fiberglass. I don't want it sticking to my work table because I'll never be able to get it off. So. So yeah, I mean, that's, that's it. I mean, for simple pieces, and you can see that's the second piece I've made here. You know, the fi fiberglass is, is pretty simple. Uh, now, once you get into complex molding and forming, uh, that's a whole different that's a whole different mess. Uh, I mean, now you're talking about form molding. You're definitely going to have to wax the form. You know, you may or may not want to actually vacuum bag seal it to make a smooth, even thing. It's There's a lot. For the purposes of what we're doing for the vans here, especially for the empennage area, all we're doing is just plugging holes with flat sheets, so. <coughs> Pardon me. Yeah, it's not that bad. Uh, so, once you've made your flat sheet, basically to stick it on, you simply apply epoxy to the edge of the uh, piece you've made, and then tape it up like you see me do. And if there's enough epoxy there, it will stick to that original fairing. And then when you click, when you take the clecos out, it should just come right on out, and it should keep its shape. We have a special guest here for the next segment. Everyone, say hello to the beautiful wife. We were just uh, running some errands. I said, "Oh, do you got 20 minutes? Let me show you about fiberglass." So, I'm explaining uh, everything that I'm telling to you. I'm telling to her. Though, let's be completely honest, there's a pretty good chance I'm probably mansplaining it. <coughs> anyway, so, yeah, uh, after you're done putting that initial piece on, that's great. And it's bonded to the fairing, and that's great. But you need to reinforce it. So, on the inside of the piece that we've made, you can see what I've done is I've made a small piece of fiberglass, soaked it with epoxy, and then I put it inside of the piece. Uh... Mage used a popsicle stick to kind of line it up in the center so that the walls... Oh, this this is hilarious. Someone forgot to stop the recording. Uh, so when you put that piece inside of the fairing, you just have to make sure it's centered and that you've left enough so that it kind of overlaps and goes up the fairing walls just a little bit. You know, like half an inch tops uh, and that it's soaked in epoxy. And then that will bond with not only with the piece that you've made, but it'll also bond with the fairing piece itself and once you've got that connection it's pretty much it's solid and so this is later on that day with the exact same piece um, and it worked great I was very happy with it now just to be certain I did go back and I put an extra layer in so I put two layers of fiberglass for the original cover 
and then I put two pieces on the inside and it works great. And so now that it's made, we're putting the rudder back on, which is a pain in the ass, uh, and checking the height. Now, I like I said, I did make this really tight. Um, it's about a sixteenth of an inch between the rudder and that fairing. There's absolutely no contact. That's the nice part. And I've tried. If you push, you can't make it even come close to sticking. But it's, you know, Van says an eighth of an inch. Uh, I've made a sixteenth. Here, uh, just to give you an example, here's a picture of the fairing connection between the two. Uh, two quick things to note. One, very tight. But two, it's it's not exactly a straight line, right? You, you I mean, it's, 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 it's beautiful. But you can see where between going from the vertical stabilizer to the rudder, uh, it's not like a perfectly straight line. So those black lines you saw me drawing onto the top of that fairing, uh, that's where I plan on putting some filler. Uh, with that, I'll be able to uh, kind of make the two match. It's, it's, it's purely an aesthetic, uh, aesthetic thing. I mean, it, you know, it, it's going to fly perfectly fine. It's just, you know, a small little thing. Since since I seem to have some natural talent for this, I figured I would just go for broke. And and later on, I'll, I'll be trying that. Uh, here is that second piece that I've put inside of the fairing. Now use a popsicle stick to maneuver it around. And then I let it go. So yeah, that's the uh, end of... The vertical stabilizer uh, fairing. Now, you'll love this. So here I am driving around. So it's the first rainy weekend in Oakland. And I'm going around making sure that all the planes look good. Making sure that all the fuel caps are on. You might think that's a joke, but you'd be amazed how many get lost. So, Anyway, see you soon.